That was suspiciously fast. You sure it works now? Uh, Mr. Renier, sir, we have a situation. I'm kind of in the middle of something. Well, it's more of an emergency, actually. Some ticks have gotten loose in the basement, and, uh... A what got out of what now? It was an honest mistake. I was taking the liberty to experiment with some ticks we captured, and things got out of hand. Mr. Jesse, before you go all red and do that angry maniac thing you do, maybe we could consider it a great opportunity. You make it so hard to like you, Verge. I... You know that, right? Remember that fortuitous gauntlet malfunction that helped you and your father survive? Turns out that that malfunction is a simple override protocol. One you can now control thanks to, well, me. You're welcome. This better work or there's gonna be a gauntlet malfunction on your face. I ain't got time to be cleaning up every mess you nerds make. Please don't tell Dr. Blackwell about this. Mr. Renier? Right to be out there, working. This just came in. It's from Agent Gravener. Good or bad? Private. Oh, uh... Speaking of bad, I found a giant ancient cadaver in Baxter. Any idea why Tix would want to hide it? A few. Why isn't Agent Bloom allowing anyone in to see your father? Security, Doc. Calico's the last working cell in the country, and we mean to keep it that way. That means closing a few doors? Well, so be it. But I'm a medical professional and the head of this cell. So a chain of command shouldn't be an issue for you. It isn't, sir. Emilia, you don't have to get all... I'd prefer Dr. Blackwell, sir. Ready for debrief whenever suits you best. <sighs> Oh, there you are. Well, it's... The creature you found in the Devil's Pass is essentially an oversized leech, a bloodsucker of sorts. Its stomach acids prevent blood from coagulation. So it's like a living container? Precisely. Moreover, according to microscopic analysis, the blood within the leech is remarkably old. It's not only that, it isn't like anything hm. we've ever seen. And Felicity feeds it to her familiars. Uh, gotta learn more about that sawmill and how it's all connected. The McCallum Sawmill was founded in 1845 by Elijah McCallum. The definition of a small town family operation. After Elijah's death two years ago, the mill was bought out by an investor representing the Andalusia Financial Services Group. A conglomerate of banks, oil fields, railways, you name it. What does a big fish like that want with a shitty little sawmill on the ass end of nowhere? It's unclear. The purchase itself was entirely above board. What about the forest? Old native ritual sites, burial mounds, anything? Nothing a note, no. Well, I guess I'll just have to figure this out on my own then. Thanks for your time, Dr. Blackwell. I, I live to serve, sir. I'll get back to my research now.
Ooh, Zapper's acting up. The glamour must be near. Holy shit. Chester did say something about the source of the glamour. This must be it. The source. More disgusting than I even imagined. The glamour's probably secured by more of these ugly tumors. Need to take them out to destroy the illusion. getting weaker now. Probably there's one or maybe two sources more.
Andalusia spent thousands to take possession of this shit. This machinery hasn't been used for ages. Something's fishy here. Bet the answer's hidden. children. That damn smell doesn't bode well. Let's take a look, see. Christ, it's a goddamn blood factory. one of the workers here.
These things are alive and pumping blood. Got a bad feeling about its source. track. protecting. damn leeches. Beast, fucking great. Doesn't look to be long dead. That's a hell of a tooth. A trip into its guts. Great.
mistake.
So this is where those beasts get their magical blood from. Once that ancient fella and Baxter was sucked dry, she found you, huh? Christ, I'm starting to hate mythology. Anybody ever heard of a colossal monster with a forest growing on its back? Because I got some samples. Mine. <laughs> That's a Mikanak. In Huron Indian folklore, it's some kind of minor deity. It was covered head to toe in those damn leeches. That means we found yet another blood factory set up by Dubano and Felicity. That would explain why they attacked Baxter. They were protecting their source. The ancient blood they used to transform their familiars. Bad news is this Mikanak thing was supplying their war for quite some time now, allowing those foul bloods to spread all over the country. The good news is, it won't do it anymore. Even if he doesn't kill us in our sleep, that link in his head will lead the ticks right to us. Then let them come. Killing ticks is what the Rentier Institute does. Did you listen to yourself? This isn't about your birthright. This is what happens when we run a government agency like a goddamn monarchy. All our protocols go out the window as soon as Daddy Dearest. Keep talking to me about the rules, you bureaucratic shrew. Please, we're all on the same team, remember? Only when it suits him. How about finally telling me where Edgar went? He's in Morapa, searching for the plant to make the regen compound. The regen compound? Now you're wasting what little resources we have left chasing a fairy tale? Listen, Mr. Gravener's an experienced agent. If he didn't have faith in his mission, he wouldn't bother. We are at war, Doctor. Who else is worth saving if not the leader of the Institute? 
And in the long run, it could help everybody if the thing by some miracle actually works. You have until tomorrow morning. In the meantime, your father will be restrained and placed under round-the-clock supervision. Fine. I'm gonna get Edgar's ass out of those swamps. And if I get back with that plant and I still see that shotgun in your hand, you better damn well prove you know how to use it. <laughs>